diverted the lifeboat men by firing off two maroons. <coughs> the klaxon also called men to duty and like magic men appeared from every direction running as fast as they could to the boathouse. Inside the boathouse, Blue Peter One stood waiting. Each man knew exactly what he had to do. There was no time for chat. Johnny Pelham was going in the boat, so was George. And while they were getting ready, the other lads were pushing the boat out of the boathouse and down to the river. Life jackets were the last things to put on. Roy was the third member of the crew, the fourth being a brand new lifeboatman, John Noakes. Right, as soon as I got my life jacket on, we all belted like mad out of the boathouse and made for the boat. This wasn't the most elegant way of getting on board, but it was certainly the fastest. The moment Blue Peter One hit the water, Johnny started the engine. The boat hadn't stopped moving since it left the boathouse. This was a very impressive launch. It's gonna get a bit rougher outside. On the river Arran, Blue Peter One was as steady as a rock. But I did wonder how she behaved once we got out to sea. And the job of being called. The nearest RAF search and rescue squadron to Littlehampton is based at Thorny Island. And when they got the call, the helicopter crew wasted no time at all getting out to their chopper and kitted up, ready for takeoff. The RAF rescue squadron's prime duty is to help RAF pilots who may have to bail out over the sea. It's not for rescuing civilians like Pete. Of course, if they're not on a call to rescue a pilot, they will go out to help anyone in difficulties. So we were very lucky when they could come out to help us. Right, up we go. By now we'd just about reached the open sea and the boat was beginning to bounce. It was now a race between the chopper and the lifeboat to see who could get to Pete first. of the Blue Peter lifeboat was a very welcome one and I was extremely pleased when I was pulled aboard her. The English Channel isn't the warmest of places to go for a swim. Inside the inshore rescue boat it's only eight feet long and three feet wide and there were already four people in it before I got in. But even so it would have taken more. It was also extremely stable. The sea was quite choppy but it didn't seem to worry the lifeboat at all. helicopter flew up until it was almost directly over us. The pilot had to make hairbreadth adjustments as the man on the winch was being lured down to our boat.
Frenchman came down to find out what help was needed. I told him that I was all right, but asked him if he'd show me what would happen if I'd been injured and had to get to hospital fast. This meant that I'd have to be plucked out of the lifeboat and into the helicopter. The teamwork involved in getting the helicopter into position was fantastic as the pilot can't see the boat at all when it's directly beneath him. A sling was put round my body and then, with both the winchman and myself fully secured, he gave the signal for the helicopter to start winching us up. I could now see how the two rescue teams work hand in hand. There's no jealousy between them. Their sole aim is to get to the scene of the accident as fast as they possibly can to carry out their common task of saving lives. With the operation over, we turned for home. Blue Peter 1 had made another rescue, the 71st time she'd been called out since she was launched in 1967. After all that, Johnny got wetter than I did. I think I did. <laughs> Mind you, the RAF Rescue Service and the Lifeboat uh, Service are doing a fantastic job. We've been trot totting up, actually, how our four inshore rescue boats have been doing on our scoreboard here. And Blue Peter 1 down at Littlehampton here, during three months of this year, in 1970, <coughs> it's, had three, uh, it's had three launchings and saved four lives and altogether since 1967 it's got a total of 70 launchings and that's not counting the one that we did and it saved 16 lives and Blue Peter 2 at Beaumaris has had this year one launching and has saved one life so that means that the total launchings for Beaumaris are 28 launchings and 12 lives saved and up at North Berwick Blue Peter 3 that's also had one launching this year with one life saved, and their total launching is 24 with 23 lives saved. Um, Blue Peter 4 at St Agnes in 1970 has done two launchings and has got a total of 25 launchings and lives saved, 22. So the grand total for all the boats ever since they were launched four years ago is 147 and lives saved. 73, and that's all due to you sending in those 240,000 paperback books helping us to buy those four Blue Peter inshore rescue boats. 